perform an ASTM E8 test, you first need to size the specimen according to the ASTM E8 specifications. We are using a tensile cut model 1033 with the appropriate gauge template to create this sample. Once you have created the sample, whether it is round or flat, you'll need to gauge punch the sample with the appropriate size gauge, as you see here. After gauge punching the samples, you will need to measure the sample. For flat specimens, you need to measure the width and the thickness. For round samples, you need to measure the diameter. Now that we have cut our samples to size, gauge punch our samples, and measured the samples, we need to input the measurements into the computer software. Now we can place the specimen in the machine and tighten the lower grip. Then place the extensometer on the sample and carefully and slowly remove the pin. We can then zero the machine and tighten the top grip. Notice that I am applying a real load to the sample. Don't run the test. Now we will begin the test by clicking the start button. Once the program has collected enough data, you will be prompted to remove the extensometer as seen here. We now remove the extensometer and press OK to resume the test. Now that the sample has failed, you will be prompted by the program to insert a final gauge length. Remove the specimen at this time and reassemble it on a flat surface. Measure the distance between gauge punch marks and input it into the software, as seen here. Now we can generate a custom report. If you would like to bring your testing in-house, please contact one of our sales engineers today. If you would like to outsource your testing, please email us using the link below.